funny thing. You know, when you look at the board staff for these military industrial companies like L3 Harris and Raytheon and whatnot, there's a lot of women at the executive level. And a lot of the people dying, testing out and playing with all the toys they make to inflict upon the world are men. For those of you pimping this concept of the patriarchy and all the harm that it's doing to women, I would put it to you that the reason why you can't find any good men is because you're sending them off to die in the sandbox just so you can prove that you are competent at designing and manufacturing means to kill children. It's not enough for you to kill the babies that end up in your wombs to the irresponsible and wanton sex lives that you all choose to proliferately pursue. You have to go kill people that are already born in other countries. And then you want to blame it all on men. But let's hear it for those strong, independent women. Let's hear it for the military-industrial complex. And let's hear it for your two-faced double standard when you bow your knee to the ESG agenda of these non-government organizations like the World Economic Forum, who are all pretty much predominantly men, giving you your marching orders. And your punish me harder, daddy. Yes, daddy. Yes, yes, king, slay. Everything that happens to you that you don't like, women, is a result of your decisions. You made the bed. Get cozy and sleep in it with those alligator-sized bed bugs that you've been cultivating with your moral and ethic filth. I'm not angry at you. I'm just disappointed. You should know better than that.